Picture this. It's the start of February 2024, and the buzz of the Grammy Awards is in the air. The nominations have been announced, the stage is set, and the world is waiting with bated breath to see who will walk away with the coveted golden gramophone. Let's rewind a bit, though. The story really begins back in November 2023, when the Recording Academy unveiled the nominations for the 2024 Grammy Awards. The artist leading the pack was none other than SZA, boasting a grand total of nine nominations. Hot on her heels were Victoria Monet and Phoebe Bridgers, each with seven nods to their names. Eight other musicians tied for third place, each having earned six nominations. Notable among the first-time nominees were Victoria Monet and Troy Sivan, while Kylie Minogue received her sixth nomination. However, the nominations weren't without their share of controversy. Peso Pluma was notably absent from the list, and the Foo Fighters' latest album didn't receive a single nomination. In a historic move, the Recording Academy introduced a new category, Best African Music Performance. Four of the five nominees in this category were receiving their first-ever Grammy nominations. Burna Boy stood out with six nominations, and Tyla received her first Grammy nod. Fast forward to February 4th, the day of the awards, held at the Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles. The stars were out in full force, but there were a few noticeable absences. Travis Kelsey, the Kansas City Chiefs tight end and boyfriend of Taylor Swift, was notably absent. Despite fans' hopes of seeing the couple make their red carpet debut, Kelsey was focused on the upcoming Super Bowl, which was scheduled a week after the Grammys. Swift, however, was not deterred. She had a big night ahead of her, with her album Midnight's being in the running for Album of the Year. Despite having a concert in Tokyo on February 10th, she was determined to make it to Nevada in time for the Super Bowl, thanks to the international dateline. In a surprising turn of events, it was revealed that a number of politicians have also been Grammy winners and nominees. From former President Jimmy Carter to Senator Bernie Sanders, these politicians have been recognized for their contributions to recorded sound, primarily in the spoken word category. To sum it all up, the Grammy Awards of 2024 were a whirlwind of surprises, snubs, and historic firsts. From the announcement of nominations to the award ceremony, it was a roller coaster of emotions for music lovers around the globe. Whether it was the unexpected absences, the first time nominees, or the introduction of a new category, the Grammys once again proved why they're the biggest night in music.